Good afternoon YouTube, this is Captain Machine and this is part 2 of my convention overview as a title indicates above what we'll talk about today is to Furnace 2007 now Furnace 2007 was a what I call a mini comp from last year and it all it had 70 attendees uh, or thereabouts, I think it would give or take about 5 or 10 <coughs> also got a bit of a cold um, I had given myself a New Year's resolution last year that I was going to go to at least one role playing convention and I honestly thought that the one I was going to go to was the UK Game Expo uh, but unfortunately restraints means I couldn't manage that so I was quite pleased to find a advert for Furnace on the Oxford Off forums and I bought my tickets and got my rooms booked at the hotel and uh, I went now on the forums they did actually list all the games that were going to be played that weekend and they said that on the day in question you had to book your table and it was a case of first come first serve <coughs> sorry and I wasn't a big fan of that because there was a couple of games I really wanted to play more precisely I wanted to play Delta Green I played Call of Cthulhu a lot but I never played the actual Delta Green setting so reading up I discovered that if you were GM, you got special privileges. More precisely, you got to pick a game of your choice for each session you ran, which would guarantee the space out before the no, the sign-up boards even got on the board, basically. So I elected to run the warmer 40,000 Dark Heresy introduction, which was floating around at that time. You can probably still get it if you look hard enough for it. Um, now I thought that I would be running that either halfway through the first day or on the second day so I had plenty of time to immerse myself in the whole convention play things never done it before and I was kind of shocked that the first session of the first day because there was three on Saturday and two on Sunday and each was about four hours on the first session, first day, was my game, so I was pretty much from the deep end. I had two friends come with me, and they were also pretty out of it as well, because they'd never done this before, so they decided to sit in my game and get an idea for it, and we had a huge laugh, huge fun, and pretty much ran for the entirety of the four-hour session. I think we stopped ten minutes early, which is good timing, really. All in all, on the Saturday... We ran, I ran my 40k game, which everyone seemed to enjoy. I then ran, I then played Savage Slay, which is where I first encountered it and where I got the book from. And then I got to play Delta Green in the evening, um, which meant, which was a huge reward for running the warmer game in the morning. Um, massive fun. I had some to eat at the because like there was like a restaurant slash pub in the hotel itself. <coughs> And then went to bed. Got up in the morning, had breakfast, all the contents of breakfast, and then played the Fear of Clowns game, which was the Cult of Keepers Call of Cthulhu game, which was amazingly good fun. It is a crying shame that the Cult of Keepers no longer exists, although, fingers crossed, that the guy who ran it will still be running more this year, despite the fact that the Cult of Keepers don't exist, but the individual members themselves will be going to conventions and running stuff. And then to finish it off, we played Burning Suns, well, not Fading Suns, sorry, not Burning Suns, Fading Suns, which I'd heard about, I never played, I always wanted to, and I really enjoyed it, and it's getting a reprint, so I may pick it up. All in all, the convention was amazing. The people I got to hang around with were amazing. The ambience was amazing. It kind of bled off from everything, people were happy to be there, the organisers were happy to be there, and it all kind of like, getting into this huge, big melting pot, and everyone just had huge fun. The venue was amazing, Garrison Hotel. The biggest joy was playing in the cells, which were the converted cells um, from when it, the Garrison Hotel used to be an actual garrison. So quite cramped, but they were very atmospheric, which is good. There was also an armory, which is basically a reinforced building, which used to be an armory. I used to have lots of explosives in them. Never got a chance to go in there, though, although I've seen pictures, and it looks quite nice. I was also in the cell as well, which is basically a large room at the bottom of the hotel. Now, 
the one bad thing, and the, I always find that if you're going to do a review, you have to find at least one good thing or one bad thing and everything to balance it out. The one bad thing in in the convention was the staff at the Garrison Hotel. Now, I'm being very specific about this because the rooms were great, the person behind the reception was great, um, you know, the catering staff were great. The other problem was with bar staff. Now, the bar staff were the staff that I most interacted with because between games, I wanted to have a drink and I wanted to have something to eat. And one person on the forums described their speed as glacial. And I consider that a compliment because I've seen glacial movements, and uh, they were pretty quick. In, uh, that's pretty quick in comparison to sort of the speed some of these people were going at. I mean, I used to when I was six, turned sixteen. I did about six months in a pub, and in all fairness, that's over ten years ago, and I could still climb over that bar and it could do go faster than that Egypt behind there. Oh dear. <sighs> Now the Garrett's Hotel is going to be the venue for next year's game, next year's furnace. Fingers crossed that the organisers have had a word with the staff and explained to them that it's not on. Granted, there was a wedding reception at the hotel at the same time on the Saturday, but that's still no excuse. If you're going to have two events like that, you get more staff here, and you most certainly do not hire staff that are absolutely slow. Um, one particular scenario, I mean, there's one guy being told that he wasn't allowed to order food because he had a convention badge on despite the fact the kitchen was still open um, there was one time when there was only one guy serving and there was like 10 people at the bar and there were three people hovering around behind him trying desperately to avoid eye contact with the staff I sound really angry about this because I really was angry about it at the time and I still am to this day um, I hope they get it sorted out but I'm not, hold, not holding my breath and I also believe that when I go this year, I will basically be taking my own sandwiches, my own drinks, to get around this problem. Uh, they also had Patriot Games there, were selling some games, bought a lot of nice third party stuff, picked up some dice as well. And uh, they also met the guys at Yog Radio as well, who interviewed me. So if you go to Yog Radio, you'll be able to find that interview and see what my opinion of that. As with any good interview, all the best stuff was said after the recording was turned off which is a shame really but there you go so all in all Furnace 2007 fantastic uh, everything was great apart from the bar staff uh, Furnace 2008 is going to be fantastic I'll definitely be there my friends will definitely be there if anything I'll be bringing more of them this year I'll also be bringing the camera and I'll also be letting everyone on YouTube know what else is going on as well so I'm going to sign off now don't want to make this run over too long so this is Captain Machine, say goodbye, and I'll see you later, and I'll be with my part 3 video, which will be Convention Play. Okay, bye-bye.